Hi. Um, my job is so secret that I don't even know what I'm doing, so I have a piece of paper. Sorry. And I'm getting old, so I'm going to get glasses, too. I'll be short, but 186 years ago, a man called Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain opened on the Rue de Rivoli in Paris his store. His entire life was dedicated to beauty, its creation, its enhancement, and its preservation. Four generations of perfumers later, I'm standing there before you as the fifth nose of the House of Guerlain, the French brand which personified French culture. So what is my job? What is my job about? Of course, creating new scents for Guerlain is obviously what is expected. And it's the visible part of my job. Manufacturing my predecessor's formulas, guaranteeing their integrity, and perpetuating the in-house knowledge and craftsmanship is my duty. If you are in a business where you manufacture everything you do from scratch, you need to buy your raw materials. Therefore, sourcing is also my responsibility. Both manufacturing and sourcing needs to be monitored through quality control, and this falls into my domain, too. As a creative and cultural entrepreneur, one of our social duties at Gala is to preserve local biodiversity, as we do with our production of jasmine in Italy and in the south of France, rose in grass or orange flower in Tunisia. This commitment to supporting the local ecosystems is encouraged not only by Gala, but in the LVMH brands in general, which values their privileged relationship with the suppliers, distributors, and service providers, who plays an integral part in the creation of our products. Because those SMEs, craftsmen, and artisans are essential to our success, we are proud to support their local economies, to continue to sustain their ecosystems, no matter how remote the regions, since excellence knows no distance. With design and creativity driving our production, luxury brands considerably influence the economic, <coughs> sorry, the economic growth. With the 3% of the European GDP equal 440 billion euros and 900,000 people directly employed, the business model of the luxury industry, a business model based on creativity, has proven remarkably resilient to the economic and financial crisis. In my opinion, the traditional indicators used to measure the innovative performance of companies such as R&D spending or number of patents, etc., do not reflect the potential impact and success of high-end manufacturers. Our activity is a knowledge-based activity and our tradition of combining technological and non-technological innovation are characteristic of our sector. Characteristics that cannot be traditionally measured. High-end industry has particularly positive action on vocational training. Because we know that attracting young talent with adequate skills is difficult, roughly 700 million euros per year are invested on training programs to avoid losing traditional skills and know-how. With Europe's worldwide reputation for mastering the design and production of luxury goods, passing on the skills of artisanal craftsmanship should be of the utmost priority. Finally, looking forward, 
one can easily predict the increasing importance of e-commerce. This growing pace of a oops, digitalization, it was an easy one, new problems are facing our sector alongside the new market and the new customers. We must preserve our creative efforts by reinforcing the protection of intellectual property rights and adopting a no tolerance policy for any infringement and a duty of care for online service providers. Those are the message I wanted to convey to you and to everybody who's got open ears and I think now it's time to have fun with questions and more interaction than pieces of paper. Thank you.